hello and welcome to or back to the cozy chaos we are in a beautiful cherry blossom biome or uh, i think it's called like a cherry grove or something like that it's, it's, it's so cute oh my god the leaves falling hi it's Suzumi. today we're gonna be starting a very new adventure we're gonna be starting Blossom craft. I uh, I wanted to do like a litty, a, a litty, a little uh <laughs> series, um where I do a uh, let's play in 1.20. We are in 1.20 right now, and we also have some mods. We also have a very cute texture pack, as you may have noticed. It is a, it is an adorable texture pack. Let me just say that. Major props to the creators for getting it out this early as well for the new version. It, it is so adorable and I love it so very much. But I, I ended up, I joined a world and I was nowhere near a cherry blossom biome at all. To recap a very long story, basically I ended up having to find the biome through commands and stuff like that. And I finally found this itty bitty little cherry grove and I think it's really cute. Well, we have a bed, so that's good. It's always good to have a bed. Hide from the monsters. Hello? Ooh, a blast furnace. Uh, don't mind if I do. Ah. Oh. I didn't think about the fact that I probably needed a pickaxe for it. Is this house empty? I just want an empty house to sleep. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I guess we can just sleep under the stars. Why not? Why not? <laughs> oh my god. My... Okay. Bless me. Thank you. Oh, I'm hungry. Well, time to find food. Hello, food. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I feel ashamed, but it, it had to happen. Ooh. Oh, I, well, I didn't have to kill them, apparently. I thought I did. How sad. I will remember you. Let's head back to our pretty, our pretty area. The cherry blossoms. If you did not know, I used to call my subscribers cherry blossoms. Uh, it was what I called my my viewers, my fan base, my subscribers for a very long time, and I still occasionally will. Um, it's not as often that I call you guys that, but uh, because of that, I kind of want to do a cute little thing in in this series. Um, I, I want to have a cherry blossom like massive forest. I want to extend this forest so much further than it is right now. I want to make the world cherry blossom, like all that down there. That's all gonna be cherry blossom too it's gonna happen trust me but for each tree that i replant i want to name it after one of you guys so yeah leave like a really sweet comment down below or just a comment in general uh recommending what i should do in the next episode and that is how you get a little tree named after you so yeah <laughs> Okay, time to set up base camp. Since we obviously are discovering all the things we can do with all these beautiful new resources, um, let's just break one of these trees. I'm so sorry. Um, just to see what, what the stuff looks like that we can make with it, you know? And then the journey began. I started my expedition. Expedition? I guess not really an expedition. I started my process of making my own little hobbit hole. So the kind of vision I had in my mind is somewhat reminiscent of a hobbit hole, somewhat reminiscent of a cute little kawaii witch hut, but underground and like a hobbit hole. It's hard to explain. So I, I gathered up some resources, I gathered up some, you know, some basic woods and stuff, and I felt very bad breaking these beautiful cherry blossom trees, but you know what? They had it coming. They were looking at me funny. Regardless, I made myself a crafting table and then started kind of clearing out where our house will be. And I think we did a pretty good job finding a nice location for that. Um, I kind of had the floor plan in my mind kind of laid out. I want a fireplace. I want like it to go up to this nice little like window area. And so I started clearing out where my window and everything will be. And I think, I think it came out looking fairly put together as put together as it can look right now. We have built the basics of our little hobbit hole, um, and it is time to take our first sleep in it. It's a little interesting setup right now, but I promise I have a vision. I promise. I hope. Oh, did you see that? That like, oh, oh, this is good. This, I think this is going to be my favorite survival world I've ever had in my entire life. Honestly, this is going to be amazing. With 
motivation galore, I continued onward in making my dream little hobbit hole witch hut thing. Um, it honestly came, it, it was coming along together good, but then I realized I was honestly low on a lot of resources, and I realized that I didn't have any saplings, so it became my mission to get saplings, as well as apparently get interrupted by a zombie. Don't know when I added that to my to-do list, but okay. So I, you know, I continued, you know, scavenging for cherry blossom saplings. I looked to see if I had any from where I, you know, broke the last cherry blossom tree, but there wasn't. So I ended up breaking leaves to try to get cherry blossom saplings because I knew that if we were going to be making the floor out of cherry blossom wood, we would be needing a lot of trees. I cut down some trees and then poked at their leaves until I was given enough saplings that I felt satisfied with the amount of trees I'd be able to replant from that one tree. I just kind of whacked them with a shovel to be honest, I don't know if there's any technique to that, but I did get five saplings from only one tree, so I think I figured out a new technique, guys. I proudly walked back with my five saplings and planted them all around, and then went back to my little hobbit hole to continue renovations. I expanded just a little bit more, kind of getting the floor plan exactly the way I wanted it. And then I filled in the rest of the floor that at least we had right now. Now it was time to make the fireplace area look a little bit better. So I just, you know, kind of gave it a little bit more dimension and was envisioning how I exactly was going to do the fireplace. Our house is coming along quite a bit and um, I'm realizing as I'm building this fireplace, I'm gonna need netherrack. Which means we have to go to the nether, which I'm not. I don't do that. I don't do that. That's not, I don't sign up for that frequently. But I'll do it for the cute fireplace. I'll, I'll, I'll sacrifice. I'll sacrifice my sanity for a cute fireplace. You better be grateful. So now it was time to make a cute little fireplace. So I finished, you know, the little bit of sculpting I was doing and then I realized I really wanted to use the this like um, iron and stone wall thing from a mod I have. So I went ahead and ventured into the mines. I yearn for the mines, you see, I yearn for them. I got some coal and then after a while of fighting mobs and going deeper into the caves, I finally found a little bit of iron to make my little walls with. I got the goods. I can have a cute fence. I did it. <laughs> it looks so cute. I can't wait till I have an actual little fire there. Oh my god, it looks so cute. I did some last little touches and Raven is right now sleeping on my tummy, so I cannot lean any further towards the mic, so I apologize if I'm a little bit quieter than I was in the past clips, but regardless, I kept, you know, tweaking the stuff a little bit, and then we'll continue the rest in the next episode. This was a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to continue. <laughs>